Are you sick of the horrible, congested world out there where people are so cranky and you want to escape and be enveloped in this small town charm with smiling faces, amazing views, and the laissez-faire kind of attitude? Laissez-faire is right because I, in Ojai, actually pedestrians will cross the street and they won't even look right or left because they just assume people are not going to run them over. <laughs> it's fantastic. And it is a mountain oasis. It's located at about 80 miles to Los Angeles, 30 miles to Santa Barbara, within a 20 minute drive to Ventura County's fantastic beaches and surfing. And even though it's the smallest city in Ventura County, just under 8,000, it's also probably the most famous. It's a haven for actors, writers, artists, and those who just want to commune with nature. Talking about nature, Ojai is located in one of the very few east to west um, valleys in the world, which creates these amazing sunrises and these pink rosy sunsets. The, the weather in Ojai is known for its hot, dry summer, sometimes getting up to over 100 degrees. And the winter can be cooler and damp with more rain and also temperatures sometimes getting below freezing. And even the surrounding mountains will have white capped peaks. One of the things that kind of surprised us coming from Colorado, in Colorado you'd go up to the mountains to cool off in the summer. And so when we were here in the summer and near the coast, it was getting a little hot. So we thought, well, we'll go visit one of our clients up in Ojai and then take the dogs for a hike. So we come up here and it's like 110 degrees. There is no way we were gonna leave the dogs in the car. It was so hot. And then we went into our client's house and he was okay with having dogs come in and it was like 40 degrees cooler there because of the adobe plaster walls. They just knew how to build them back then. Right, and those, those walls also provide the insulation for the winter, so it's gonna keep the house warmer in the winter. It's really just a charming town. It's probably also one of the most picturesque cities in Ventura. There are nine neighborhoods here in Ojai that are very distinct and have a different flavor to each of them. Some of them might have luxury custom homes or horse property. You also have historic homes and bungalows that you can walk to the farmer's market or any of the shops in downtown. The prices are gonna range greatly, anywhere from 450,000 for a small mountain cabin just outside of town to 36 million for a 3,600 acre cattle ranch. And the, the median home price in the town of Ojai is around 840,000, although that's gonna vary too in those nine neighborhoods, anywhere from 740,000 to a million. As you get closer to Oakview, a neighboring community, the home prices decline. And as you get further east, then the home prices increase. One con for Ojai is the cost of living can be really high. There's no chain stores or chain restaurants allowed. And most of the produce you're gonna find is gonna be organic, which is great, but it can be a little more expensive. There's a farmer's market there twice a week, which offers amazing produce. Right, and Ojai's cost of living is 18% higher than the average of California and 84% higher than the national average. And what really pushes that up is the cost of your, is the average cost of a home is 180% higher than the national average. There's not a lot of economic diversity either. Most people are either independently wealthy, retired, they telecommute, or they actually commute commute to Santa Barbara, LA, Ventura. One of the biggest <laughs> challenges for Ojai is this area has been in a drought for roughly 25 years. And although there has been a ton of recent rainfall and also snow in the mountains, the nearby water supply of Lake Casitas is still at only around 50%. There's also a high risk of earthquakes and wildfires due to being located in the mountains and near a fault. However, Ojai, this great fire safety plan where it really showed that it works very well in 2017, 2018, the Thomas fires came down the mountain and just were rushing through all the land and and Ojai was like this little bubble where only five homes were lost. Ojai's air quality has a fair rating and is rated better than the average U.S. city. And the schools have a rating of above average B plus from niche.com. However, public school review reports that only 19% of students attend a public school. The rest attend a private school. Niche.com gives Ojai a B rating for crime. Some of the most common 
crimes are actually drug use and problems and grifters. Right. So, for example, a roofing company might come and they'll fix one person's home and then that person would refer them to all their friends and family. Then they would go to their homes, take money up front to fix it, and then disappear. So there are a lot of these different companies under litigation right now. It's so important when you're picking a contractor anywhere, get bids from at least three licensed contractors and don't put any money down up front. A big pro to Ojai is its fantastic and romantic sunsets. A downside to all of that, according to one local writer, is if you're considering dating someone else from Ojai, your neighbors are going to know your business even before you do. Another pro is, is that it's cheaper to buy a home here than LA or Santa Barbara. So people are selling their homes there and moving here and able to buy a larger home on acreage property with amazing views for a lot cheaper. A negative though is the commute. So some of the people from LA that we've talked to, they come out here and they're going, well, we know that we just, it's worth it. And we have Audible and music and we can just listen to that on our trip down. And we're only going two or three times a week. It can wear them down. It's mm -hmm. called the LA blues. <laughs> or fatigue or something like that <laughs> and people who are still working in LA tend to find that within a year or two they're either having to move back or find a new job that's closer <laughs> one big pro to Ojai is it according to our research at least it has one of the lowest cancer rates in the entire country there's not a con to that <laughs> yeah there's no con there <laughs> Another pro is for foodies. There is a lot of really good food here. So it can be more on the expensive side because the quality is so amazing. People will travel here either to the restaurants or also to the incredible farmer's markets. And they have some gluten-free choices too, which is a benefit for us. Another huge pro to Ojai is just the, all the trails and the mountains. People love to hike here, very active city. And you'll have views, you can have views of the town below, snow-capped mountains, and in some places views all the way to the Pacific. Another thing is, is that Ojai is all about community. They have wonderful community events such as music shows, outdoor music shows, art festivals, and parades. And you'll see lined up before the July 4th parade, chairs lining the streets so people have their spots saved, which can lead to a lot of traffic. And so don't plan on coming here on like July 4th because you're not gonna be able to cross over any of those main streets. Right, or if you try coming here around the time of the farmer's market, it gets really packed and crowded, but it's also really fun. You may find that once you've visited Ojai that this is your favorite place in Ventura County. You'll think it's so amazing. But keep in mind, Ventura County is so diverse and every city has its own fantastic pluses and some minuses as well, which we can tell you about. Either way though, if you're considering this area, give us a call so we can help you hone in on your search and find the perfect place for you.